Well, just two days ago, Councilmember Teresa Mosqueda told me that she and others were not committed to the idea of a mobile injection site. But today, she advocated for the city to buy a van for about $350,000, saying the need for a safe injection site was urgent. Mosqueda has always been supportive of a safe injection model. In fact, many Seattle city leaders believe it can make a difference in the fight against heroin addiction. They say data shows that it prevents death and helps with outreach. For that reason, many council members have been fighting to bring a brick and mortar site for nearly two years. But finding the right location that meets the criteria has been challenging. And perhaps one of the biggest challenges has been the pushback from many in the public. Today, we had council members Sally Bagshaw and Deborah Juarez who asked supporters of safe injection sites to go out into the community and educate people who oppose the idea. A particular group of people shows up at every one of my community meetings to come at me over that. And I, you know, you can only do so much. Due to the pushback from the public, Juarez flat out asking whether or not it was possible for the city to buy a piece of property outright and build a safe injection site. She was told by a city staff member that that's even more challenging because of the cost and shortage of real estate right now. So now the conversation has evolved into whether or not a mobile van is an option, a van that could be fixed in one location. This report right here shows that it would cost about $1.8 million to get this van up and ready and another up to $2.5 million to operate it. I also think that if we have a known amount for the purchase of a van, uh, potentially being $350,000, that we should move forward with the purchase of that van as we engage with the community about the possible location. And with a reminder that it would be a fixed location. If those dollars are in hand right now, and if, if I'm reading the information correctly, if that is the most cost effective and most expedient way for us to create a potential site um, I would like to register in addition to wanting to have the dollars to move forward so that we could either purchase our own property and build brick and mortar. If that's not an option right now, then I would like us to get this um, ban in hand. With city leaders now under heavy scrutiny over spending accountability, I asked Mosqueda today on whether or not spending $350,000 for a van was the right thing to do before community engagement and even before finding a location for the van. In response, Mosqueda emphasized that the community would get to engage and that city council has not reached a decision on the mobile van idea yet. But she says it's important to set a timeline on this issue so that if a brick and mortar location is not feasible, that a mobile one is at least an option. Well, I, I, I just